No, I do not have a secret diet. I do not have a meal plan. I'm not a fitness influencer. I'm not a personal trainer. I did not hire a personal trainer. I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a doctor. I think at the end of the day, it all boils down to discipline. Discipline regarding working out and discipline regarding eating. Losing weight is about a caloric deficit. You got to get into a caloric deficit. I was 265 pounds. I went online. I used the total daily energy expenditure calculator to figure out what my total energy needs were for for the day for my age basically i used that calculator it gave me the fat burning calories the maintenance calories basically like the bulking calories so i'm trying to lose weight so obviously i'm using the fat, fat loss calories so um i use that calculator my weight in my age my level of activity and it gave me those calories and i basically assembled a, a list of foods simplicity is key eating a decent amount of calories to get yourself in a calorie deficit and exercising and doing it slowly is what's going to lead to you actually losing a decent amount of weight but again guys no magic pills here it's a slow process and you have to just accept the fact that this is going to take however long it takes in my mind, I'm not trying to arrive at a destination. I am transforming into something. This is a way of life for me. This is not just me going somewhere. This is me becoming someone, becoming a better person, becoming the person that I wanna be. That's the mentality that you have to have when you're on this journey. For me, it was just really simple, right? I ate protein, I prioritized protein. I did eat carbs around 200 grams. The protein I was shooting for anywhere between 160 to 200 grams of protein a day. And the fats, I didn't really track those, but I did track the calories. I hit plateaus, I got to 240, and then actually the scale started going up again. That was within three months of me dieting. Uh, like I said, I cut the calories again. I was able to get down to about 230 by the summer. And then by the end of summer, I was down to 220 pounds. I lost roughly 40 pounds in about six months. Going into the fall of 2021, which is when I started to diet, I pretty much, I guess you could say I took a diet break. And then, you know, because I wanted to enjoy the holidays. And then I picked up the diet again in January of 2022 and the difference there was I started cutting calories again but I also went to intermittent fasting in February I got down to about 215 pounds and then in March I got down to 210 I thought by 210 I would surely see abs but I didn't see them. I think most people have a tendency to overestimate how fat they really are or what percentage of fat is on their body and then they have a tendency to overestimate how much muscle they have that was kind of my tendency when i got to 210 i realized that hey you know i'm still fat not fat but i didn't see abs i was definitely smaller but i couldn't see my actual abs so for me i realized i had to keep going and that's when i started doing the intermittent fasting i feel like intermittent fasting was like a secret weapon the way i did my intermittent fasting was i eliminated lunch and i ate breakfast and dinner and for dinner, I would normally eat half of a rotisserie chicken with a salad. For breakfast, I would have three eggs and an English muffin. Doing that uh, helped me get to 200 pounds by late April, early May. When I took a picture of myself and I saw abs, that's when I realized, okay, I'm getting close. At that point, it was just a boost of confidence. You know, it was this thing where people would see me in the gym and they would say, wow, you've lost a lot of weight. People out in public, places that I would frequent, me and my wife, they would look at me and they just like, wow, dude, you look so different. How did you do this? And it was just a complete transformation. People who knew me for years, could noticeably tell, you know, you see little stuff like your neck gets smaller, you know, your face starts to thin out, you know, you start seeing more veins in your arms, you start seeing, you know, deeper armpits, you know, you're, you start seeing, you know, the Adonis curve and your six pack and, you know, chest definition. And so all those things began to happen when I got to about 200 pounds. That's basically how I did it. Hopefully you got the gist of what I'm explaining because at the end of the day, I think we all need to motivate each other. And if I've arrived at the finish line, I feel like it's a good idea for me to bring other people along. I'm just here to motivate you and hopefully this video can give you some inspiration. No matter where you are in that journey, to keep going, keep pushing, keep striving for greatness. Don't let anything discourage you because if you keep going, you will arrive at the destination. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please comment below if you have any questions. I'm gonna be making more videos. Peace.